illegal migration crisis uh, hello friends welcome to your channel tube core in this video we are going to talk about the hot topic uh, which is quite popular since last one week i guess it's the illegal migration across uh, america and the uk and europe okay now i'm taking out my time from my life because it's not something what i do or i'm supposed to do i'm just doing it because these things are revolving in my head so i have to take them out okay the best thing to do is just make a youtube video and then upload it if you want to otherwise you don't have to for example you know you want to talk about something but you think that should i be talking about this should i not be talking about this it's better to talk it out in a video okay make a video like me and then later on decide if you want to share your opinion with public or not okay but i think what i am going to talk about in this video is actually going to be very very helpful for your generations to come before they get destroyed or they get brutally raped murdered and what what else i can send okay in the beginning i would have some disclaimers this video is only all about the truth okay it will be exposing agenda of leftist people and people who try to run the narrative okay it's simply uh, good versus bad it's you know good versus evil it's it's right versus wrong okay so a lot of exposure will happen in this video and uh, please find some time okay find some time maybe 45 minutes maybe 1 hour because again i am investing my time and maybe i don't know 10 people will watch the video 20 people i don't know how many people are going to watch this video it's good for you only i don't live in america i don't live in uk i don't live in europe so i do not have this current crisis so i'm not making this video for myself okay i'm making this video so that you get to the you get to know the truth about such people which you see right now on your screen it says this is richard gear the american actor worth this much okay and he is in a uh, dungi what not the, what is it called the the, the dong dongi i don't know okay the small boat you know he is in the small boat with illegal migrants and uh, he is saying uh, go to europe or go to uh, uk or america okay so it says it says, it says act he actively supports further illegal mass migration to europe and he himself lives in new york in his luxury villa which is guarded by security services okay so if you go on to twitter you will you know see many videos about uh, illegal migration in new york you can you know click on people maybe latest news here okay so i'm not going to show you those videos which you might have seen already uh, you know in the media every day okay so some people are actually against migration and some people uh, actually are not some most of them are favoring this most of them are you know uh, trying to uh, create a soft corner in your heart for these illegal migrants okay so for example if you're watching your news channels okay please do not get brainwashed by your news channels i beg you your generations are at stake here you know what is at stake it's not your life which is at stake your grandkids your kids and their kids life their generations are at stake if they kill you if they stab you if you are dead no problem but it's not gonna stop at you they're coming for your children for your daughter and all that okay now this video is going to be a long one because i will have to explain the basics here okay because everybody is being brainwashed by the western media first request is do not trust to your western media at all okay i have seen a lot of videos uh, on youtube and on twitter as well you know in which they are doing the reporting from new york the 46th street i guess okay and everybody is talking about you know that they understand how are they setting up the narrative because on 46th street i guess you know uh, on one end you have the hotel roosevelt i guess and uh, uh, you know outside the hotel there is a queue of illegal migrants okay and on the opposite side of the road you have some bars cafe and the bars okay so the news reporters are portraying this this in a such in, in such a way that you know they're saying on on one street there are illegal migrants who are hungry they don't, they don't have food to eat or toilet to shit and on the opposite side of the road you know people are waiting to go and uh, go and enter the restaurant in the happy hours this is the narrative being said by your media your media is trying to uh, make you apologistic for something which you are not even responsible okay so on one side of the street there are illegal migrants on the other side of the street you are going to your uh, bars to have your breakfast or lunch or dinner 
and you are being uh, you're, you're being told by your own media in New York that you know looks looks like you, you are going to eat something and it's your crime it's your crime that you know you're not giving away your house and your bank account balance to these illegal migrants okay so we'll have to expose the narrative and trust me guys this is the only analysis which you need to see in uh, in this video because again i'm telling you other people are going to break especially the media western media okay they are brainwashing you and again i do not have this uh, obligation to make this video but as i'm saying these things had been going in my head since last one week i had to take them out okay what i am going to talk about first is what is migration okay before we enter into the debate of legal migration illegal migration forget about legal and legal can somebody define me what is even migration what is migration okay so let's open up a word file because I have made some key points right now if you are worried about that I'll show you some videos maybe I will not you can show the videos on YouTube or the you know this uh, uh, what is this TikTok and all those things okay now first topic is going to be migration let's just type that in migration let's define migration what is, what is migration okay now <laughs> Guys, please be, uh, stay with me, okay? Because it's going to be a long video. If you are in the rush, no problem. Go and get yourself screwed, okay? Because again, it's not about you. It's for your generations to come how to save your kids and children, okay? Let's define migration. Migration is only for educated people who follow the rules, okay? It is for people. Do you want me to write it? It's for people who follow the rules and they are educated. Okay, you got it. So migration is the process in which some decent people like you and me are following the paperwork and they are welcomed or given the permission to settle down in a different piece of land. Okay, for example, me, if I have to come to your country, let's take America, for example, if I have to come to America, how will I come? Will I come in the dinghy? That's the word dinghy. No, I will not come in the dinghy. Okay. I will either open a business in America, I'll create a company and I will, uh, you know, take a business visa from here where I am. I'll go to my, I'll go to the American embassy in my country. I'll uh, take the visa and then I'll come to America. I'll, I'll open my, you know, office there and I will hire some people. I'll create jobs for you. And uh, that's how I can migrate. Okay. This process is called migration. Right now, I am not talking about migration or, you know, legal or illegal. I'm talking about only migration, okay? So if somebody uh, moves to moves from one piece of land to another piece of land with the, permission, with the permission of the admissible authority of that particular country, that is called migration. Now, you can migrate in, in you know, uh, uh, many ways. Uh, you can migrate on uh, business visa. You can migrate on a student visa. You can migrate on this uh, work permit, okay, as an employee, right? So in all these three categories, you, the other countries such as America has invited me and they have given me the visa from the embassy. I have got the visa. I'll go to the I'll go to the airport. I'll get the stamp from my country that I have exited my country and then I will land in Jeff Kennedy and then they will uh, stamp my uh, you know uh, passport and they will say welcome to New York. That is called migration. Okay. Now let's talk about what is legal migration and th you know this process which i have just told you visa and all that this comes under legal migration anyway okay so what i just explained to you paperwork and all that this comes under legal migration so we don't have to talk about legal migration anymore let's talk about illegal migration okay what is illegal migration well illegal migration well how do how do i define illegal migration is obviously Either you are entering the country without any visa or you are entering the country on false documents. Okay, so let's say you have, you know, in, in old times, you must have seen a lot of uh, those movies of Tom Cruise and everything. You know, they can change passports at will and they can hide their identity and all that. Okay, but in real life, like 20 years ago, it was very common because 20 years ago, there were no biometric passports. There were only physical pa paper passports in which you can always take out the photo of somebody and then you can just stick your own photo and then you become the resident of any country okay so passport being stolen back then 20 years ago was very common in Europe okay so illegal migration is uh, in two forms either you use false documents 
and uh, you forge the doc you forge the documents and then you travel on those documents and then you enter the country and after that either you vanish or you do whatever you like okay that's called illegal migration in one way second is uh, no no documents at all you just go, go to france uh, the calais port okay from the calais you catch the uh, ship or the boat or the dinghy and then you enter your uh, uk territory okay in case of this uh, mexico and america border you go to the river, Mexican river, okay, and then you, I guess, do whatever, go in the dinghy or just swim swim to the American land or whatever, okay. Now, again, your media is going to portray the situation like, oh, there are, there are small kids, you know. They, they're going to show you videos. Trust me, guys. They're gonna sh they are actually, okay. They're showing you videos in which there is a man, there is a woman, and they are having like two years old baby and they're trying to cross the river the mexican border okay uh, they're coming to uh, america from mexican border by crossing the river with the two-year child in their in their lap so what so what they do not have the visa they do not have the paperwork all they see is that they have a two-year-old baby Trust me, guys, your, your country is going to be raped. This is the word R-A-P-E-D. Your country is going to be raped and ripped apart in the name of humanity and in the name of human rights. And this is why watching this video till the end is very, very important for your generations to come. And also you have to share this video after watching it till the end if you like or if you think I have made some sense, okay? If you think I'm making sense, you have to go ahead and share this video with as many people, okay? Maybe 10 people, 20 people. It's all about waking up. 10 people wake up after watching my video, 20 people wake up after watching my video, or everybody's still sleeping. It's entirely up to you, okay? So we have discussed here legal migration and illegal migration. Illegal migration is in which you enter on forged documents or you just uh, enter the territory by crossing the ocean, you know? Uh, the problem is, I think the biggest problem at present is UK migration than American migration, okay? Because uh, in America, the migration is happening, uh, is happening including all the races. Races as in, uh, people are coming into America from multiple countries and people coming in America also are families, okay? So this is what is the case of uh, America, but when we talk about the migration in UK, that is a disaster. Because in the UK, these young people which you have seen come here. Where's the video that's gone, okay? So the video which you saw earlier, Richard Gill, uh, this one, you see here these people, these ones, they do not travel with the family. You will not find any women and children who are coming to UK. These are being sent to the UK on a purpose to take over that land and convert UK into the Islamic state of the UK. And they are also going to different parts of the Europe to convert Europe because you have to understand Europe is going to be the next Middle East. This is not me saying it. This is what the Prince of Saudi has said. I think his name I'm forgetting. Prince of Saudi already has said in the media that next Europe or sorry, the the current Europe or the future Europe, yeah, sorry, the future Europe is going to be next Middle East, okay? Because all these people are radicalized, coming from one religion only. You want me to take the name? Yes, they're coming from Muslim religion. And majority of uh, migration which is happening inside the UK is from and of only one particular religion. And all of them are only young ones. No women, no children. They will come to your country illegally, especially if you're UK, listen to me. They're going to come to your country, rape your women, rape your uh, children and kill them. And sooner you will be given a choice, convert, leave or die. That is what written in the Holy Quran. Okay. In the Holy Quran, it is, it is written that once you are in the popul in once you are majority in the population in any country, then your, uh, your job is to convert that whole country is into Islamic state. Okay. And uh, they will do their best to do that. And for that, they will give you three choices. Either you happily convert into Islam. If you don't, then you have to leave the country without your women and without the money. So, which means tomorrow when there is a you know majority of population of some radical Islamic Islamist inside the UK, then you will be asked to leave the UK or uh, leave your women and children here and just leave 
and save your life or convert into Islam or they will kill you, behead you, slaughter you. These are three choices for you. CLD, convert, leave or die. Future is here, end is near. Illegal migration, you have understand. Now, before I carry on giving you more jargon, it's not jargon. Every single thing which I have said is going to happen in the future. And I am one of those people, you know, if my video will be found after 15 years, after 20 years, then I will be one of the people, you know, you will think that he knew this and he warned us, but we didn't do anything. So I am one of those people who is actually warning you right now that future is here and end is near. Okay. So illegal migration is done now. Before I proceed about talking about this New York New York crisis and this uh, UK crisis and uh, what's the solution? What could be the solution? How you are being brainwashed? Why is your media reacting like this? Why is your media not with you? Why is the media of America is not with American citizens? Why they are favoring illegal migrants or why the media of the UK or you know or the government of, or the government of your country is not actually with you? It's actually with them. Why? Have you thought about that? We'll discuss all that in this video. Okay, so it's going to be a long video. Now, uh, before I carry on giving you, uh, you know, before I carry on, you know, it, 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 you can call this as a criticism as well, but uh, this is only the truth, okay? Now, before I talk about UK or Europe or the America, I have to talk about my own problems, you know? I'm not telling you that everything is super fine in my country where I am. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. So, let's start discussing the problem in my country first so that you know that this guy understands your pain. I understand what you're going through. I understand your kids are going to pay for your mistakes. I understand your generations will be ruined for your own mistakes <coughs> because we are paying for that. Our, our ancestors, our grandfathers, our parents did not make us aware and that's why we are facing the problems it's our job the the sooner you wake up it's good for your generations to come that's all i can say let me have some water so that i can continue <coughs> right i think i'm gonna need a lot of water in this video anyway so let's talk about that how can i relate this okay so if i open your uh, google maps okay america is where america is somewhere right here this is america new york okay this is this is canada this is New York. This is New York. And then we have uh, the UK right here. Okay. I, oh, yeah. Ireland is also going through shit. You know, people are landing into uh, Ireland uh, by crossing the ocean. Okay. So if you see this, uh, this part, where's France? France is right here. Calais. Where's Calais port? Uh, Calais port is somewhere here, I guess. Okay. So people from France, they go to this uh, London. London, I don't know. Okay. But this is the, this is the ocean they cross from France. Okay. And they enter the uh, UK illegally. Now, what I am trying to show you is that let's come to my country here so that you can understand how do I understand your pain and how your generation is going to pay for this. Where am I? I'm right here somewhere. Okay, this is me. This is here I am. Okay. Now, uh, let me, how do I, oops, how, oh, I want to minimize this, man. Let's refresh. Oh, I don't know how to minimize this because... I have this video screen recorder running here, so let's... Okay, there you go. I can minimize now. Alright, so you can see, now you can recognize the map, which country it is now. Illegal migration is not something new for me or for my country. You can see this country called Bangladesh, okay? Bangladesh is having borders with India. And then uh, Pakistan is having borders with India, okay? Now, illegal migration for us is main problem from Bangladesh, okay? You have to understand Bangladesh is a Muslim country. Let me minimize. It's a Muslim country. And then the border state of India with Bangladesh is called West Bengal. Okay. So this West Bengal is the state which has border with this uh, Bangladesh. Just like in case of Mexico and America. Mexico has borders with the America. Similarly, uh, this West Bengal has borders with the Bangladesh. Okay. Now Bangladesh, obviously, you know, it's a poor country. So apart from being poor, this is a Muslim, uh, Muslim country, okay? Now people, only men, mainly and only men from this country cross borders and they come to Indian state West Bengal, okay? Now there are how many illegal migrants we have, as in me have, as in I have in India? Let me tell you, whatever the legal population of the country England is, 
whatever the total legal population of the UK is, those many illegal migrants we have in this region here, in these states or in all over India, okay? So I never said that we are a perfect country. We had been facing this cancer of, you know, radical, illegal, jihadi uh, migration since decades, okay? Now, West Bengal is one of the states in India. And uh, this state is being run by a chief minister. She is a woman, okay? Now, it is called up, uh, appeasement politics. Appeasement politics means you have to make one group happy so that they can keep voting for you all the time, okay? That is why when these illegal, radical jihadis migrate from this Bangladesh to this Indian state by crossing the border, this is a land border, okay? So no ocean, no river, they have to only simply cross the land, okay? And, and we, you cannot save the land uh, throughout because the, the border is quite, quite long. Okay? You see here, thousands of kilometers of borders. So the problem is uh, millions, okay? Millions of illegal radicalized jihadis have crossed the borders from Bangladesh to India in this state, West Bengal. And the chief minister of this state, West Bengal, is actually supporting those radical jihadis uh, because they are they become the voters of this state okay so illegally people entered into this state from here they were given the documents from you know from this government so this government is actually working against india against you know this government in west bengal is working against its own country just for the sake of corruption so that they can make money they can they can do corruption they can have billions of dollars in their account and this uh, state is actually being uh, dominated by radical jihadi population because all that jihadi population increased in last two decades because of illegal migration happening from Bangladesh to India. So we know how this cancer works. I know what's going to happen to the UK and uh, the America. And I am telling you, a country like this, okay, we at least know the problem. We at least know the problem and God knows who will save you. Because at least in my country, there are people who are showing their resistance already. You know what resistance means? You don't surrender. You know, if, if 10 million people enter your country illegally, let them enter. That means you are not showing any resistance whatsoever. So people, the population of my country, who are aware or at least people are making them aware there are many youtubers who are doing the good work okay and the, you know people are following them and we are aware of the situation me as an individual i am aware of the problem i'm aware what's gonna what's gonna happen in the future okay but you people are sleeping so if something will go rogue in the future in my country at least we will show resistance we will fight we will do this we will do that but in your case where, where is the resistance? Where are your protests? Why are you not coming on the street? And listen to me, huge difference I'm going to tell you right now. We have more than the total UK's population. Okay, I just told you, whatever the population of the UK is legally, we have more than, uh, we have more than those many illegal people in our country. But the difference is that, you know the, you know the huge difference is that, our government recognizes the problem. And obviously, you cannot go and shoot everybody, can you? You can't, right? The human right, human right, human right. Let's play human rights, right? You can't shoot everybody. You can just, you just can't throw them in the ocean. You can't dump them in the ocean or you can't bury them alive, okay? So, our government recognizes the problem. What they will do, what they will not do, I don't know. Because inside the country, we have states we are, who are who are inviting jihadis that come and increase your population here. We will give you documents. And they have taken over this state of West Bengal. It's, out, it's gone out of our hands. Because if you go here, you will be killed, slaughtered, because it's jihadis out there. Okay? Now, how are we different from your country? Is because we recognize the problem. Plus, major difference is, understand now, it is a huge difference that... Yes, people come illegally into my country as well from other places, but, 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 and but, 
We don't go and give them money. We don't go and uh, make them stay in five-star hotels. We don't go and spend our taxpayers' money on illegal migrants. Whether they are genuine illegal migrants, whether they are radicalized jihadi migrants, that's not the case. The case is you were not welcome in the country. And those illegal migrants, such as in the uh, New York right now, they are not just migrants. You know, 100,000 migrants. It's not just the problem that where will they stay. The problem is 100,000 jobs are gone from the hands of Native Americans. We understand the crisis because we are a victim of the same. The only difference between my government and your government is that my government is not making them happy. My government is not making uh, buildings for them so that they can live peacefully in some air condition. My government is not making them stay in five-star hotels. My government is not giving them legal documents so that they can take away our jobs. You don't understand. It's not about good illegal migration or bad legal migration or whatever. It's about more people coming into your country who are illegal is equal to crime rate high, crime rate rise. Who will make you understand all this? It's common thing, common sense. Crime rate is going to go up to a level which you cannot imagine, okay? Now, I think I have given you the overview that how do I understand the scenario, okay? Now, let's get to the uh, main topic here, which we have here, migration definition, okay? I have explained migration, illegal migration. Now, we will need to talk about intentions. Intentions, okay? Intentions. This video is going to be long. This video will be, I think, more than one hour long, to be very honest, because I am just only starting. So, this will be well over one hour, one hour long. Kindly watch it. Otherwise, do whatever you like. Pause the video. Go and grab your coffee or maybe some juice and have fun. Intentions mean here now. Let's say some people want to have a better future. Okay. So what they will do is they will go on a tourist visa. You know, for example, anybody from my country, from your country, from any country, they will go to UK, they'll go to uh, Europe, they'll go to America for a better future. And uh, the visa which they have a tourist visa tourist visa will be hardly for two months, three months, four months, six months max. Okay. So after six months, your visa got expired and then you are still staying illegally. And then you're claiming asylum that, okay, yes, for six months, I was a tourist here. Now I am, I think I will be, I will be killed if I go back to my country. So please give me asylum. Mm. Still that's valid because you know, they, they came to your country on a visa. I still can give them benefit of doubt, okay? Okay, fine. You you came to the country for six months visa and now you're asylum and now you're applying for asylum. Okay, fine. We'll we'll look into that. But what about those people who are entering your country without the visa, without the paperwork, without any kind of shit? And do you know what? Those those videos which you're being shown in the social media or in the news channels, again I'm I'm telling you right now, do not get diverted or brainwashed by your me by your news media uk media europe media american media or even my media do not believe on any news channel from your country or from my country otherwise you're dead these people are going to show you videos they want to create a soft corner inside you because you know what tomorrow they will ask you to donate if they have not asked already they're going to take your money and you're going to be homeless because tomorrow they will create a soft corner inside you and they will say, you know what, can you keep one homeless person and give, give him or her a room and you know, you're doing a good job. It's going to happen. Tomorrow they will ask, okay, gentlemen, this is what we're going to do. The mayor of the UK, the mayor of the New York, I propose can, pub, can public accommodate one person into their house if they have a spare room. Hmm. What are going to do? Think practically. Again, I'm reminding you, it is not about you. It is about your generations. You have to save them. You will die soon. Nobody cares. Your future, your kids, they have a future. They have a life to live. So people who are entering your borders illegally. Okay, first of all, do you think they're poor? They're not poor. Some of them are not. Because in order to reach America, in order to reach Europe and this UK, they still pay a lot of money to those uh, human traffickers. People who take the contract that, okay, you give me this kind of money and I will uh, help you to cross the Mexico and the American border. Do you know how much do they take? 
minimum ten thousand dollar from one person. Minimum, it can go up to thirty thousand from one person. So let's say if a family is crossing uh, Mexican border from Mexico to uh, America, so that video in which you are being shown that there's a woman, there's a guy, and there's a two-year-old kid. You know how much they were they paid uh, to that broker, to that human trafficker? They must have at least paid twenty-five thousand dollar or maybe more for getting into the America illegally. Nobody is poor. Don't worry about that. If somebody is illegally entering your country, I can bet you, I will give away anything you want. Nobody entering illegally in any country without paying thousands and thousands of dollars to the to to those human traffickers. So they sell their property, they sell everything wherever they live, and they accum they accumulate the money, and they come in the dinghy. Some of them die if they, if they drown. Again, that would that video of the dinghy in which people drown will be shown to you to create a soft corner inside you. That oh yeah, they were trying to cross the ocean and they they drowned and they died. Everybody died on in the in, on the dinghy. So why do I have to have a soft corner? Did I invite you that you come to my house in the UK or New York on a dinghy? Did I invite you? Then why will I have a soft corner for you? This is what they do for you. This is how they manipulate your brain tissues. Okay, so people entering your country, they first of all are not broke, and if they are broke, they still sell their property, they sell their house and everything, and they get the money and they come to different countries. They come to Europe first. From Europe, they go to UK, and somebody goes to America, somebody goes to Mexico, Brazil. God knows how did the how do they reach? How many countries they have to travel? Nobody knows. Okay, so they do. Have to pay the money to human traffickers so that they can get to wherever they want, and it costs thousands, at least minimum. Will I'm telling you, minimum it it will cost you. For example, let's say somebody from Nigeria, for example, okay, somebody from Nigeria wants to come to the UK. Minimum it will cost one person will be at least maybe twenty five thousand dollars, maybe twenty thousand, depending on how many people are in the group. Okay. If that person is alone, then it will surely cost more than twenty thousand dollars. But if there are many people in the group, then make then they might give a discount and let's say okay, let's make it twelve thousand or fifty thousand dollars. Okay, so it costs them it costs the money to enter the country illegally. Okay, now if those people have that kind of money, why can't they just do something good in their own country? Twenty thousand dollars not small income. Anyways. Uh, I cannot go into the you know details or justify that who is uh, having a good intention, who's having a bad intention. It's not my you know I don't know anybody. Okay, so it's about uh, is it good or is it bad? Okay, so let's see what's the next topic here. We have we have sovereignty and terrorism. Wow, how can we forget that? <laughs> how can we forget that? Okay, so when I defined you migration in the beginning, you have to understand one thing here. people who entered your country on a visa they are called fully migrated you know they are called uh, legal migrated people okay but somebody who don't even have the visa who don't have any uh, you know consent or from the authorities that okay you can come they are crossing the border through land through water and they are entering your uh, they are entering your country okay you know what you know what if a person from the armed forces No, a person from the army. Okay, let's say a person from the army. If he sees that somebody is crossing the uh, crossing the river from Mexico to America in the night, okay, that army person is allowed to shoot that person in the dinghy. Army is authorized to shoot those people who are trying to trespass. Who are trying to get into your country illegally? Army can shoot them in the head, point blank range, and nobody can do shit about that. It comes under their uh, power because that army, which is act, you know, uh, at the border, that army is protecting the sovereignty of their country. That no person should be able to illegally enter their territory, and a person who enters the piece of land. without invitation without any uh, authority without visa and all that that person is called a terrorist 
this is the brainwash they are doing to you people who are being called illegal migrants if they came on the visa their visa got expired leave them aside but those people who came without the visa through human trafficking by crossing some uh, land border or by crossing some this uh, river you know water border whatever okay those people are declared terrorist as per definition so when your news media shows a family in which you have a wife and a husband and two year old kid but if they do not have the visa and they are crossing the border by crossing the river illegally that family for me is a terrorist because they are not respecting the sovereignty of your country and if the army shoots them army will have zero liability but i know people like their ngos humanity this and that they will make they will make the shit out of that if somebody fired a bullet they will not say anything to terrorists now for me illegal migrants who enter the country without the visa without the permission in the dinghy they are terrorists no matter what the excuse you give because what if they have a gun in their hands who's going to check if they have gun in their hands and they start shooting your soldiers on the border how would you know let's say let's imagine four soldiers will die in the night because in, in you know by the hands of illegal migrants if four, if four soldiers are shot dead by illegal migrants when they you know when they meet uh, with the encounter will you ever be able to get their life back of your four soldiers what will you tell to the family of their soldiers you will say that okay they were not they were not allowed to fire on illegal migrants but in return they were killed by illegal migrants and you will not be able to do shit to those illegal migrants so illegal migrants are not migrants they are terrorist people who enter your piece of land without the permission they are they are supposed to be shot dead at the border as per the law i am not saying that they should be like you need to go and shoot them no as per the law i'm telling i'm talking about as per the definition as per the law as per the law of sovereignty sovereignty let's say the word sovereignty so i forgot it let's see sovereignty yeah as per the definition of sovereignty if somebody tries to enter your land by hiding that is called terrorism and to protect the sovereignty of a country a soldier is supposed to shoot them but no ngos human rights this and that now let me tell you one more thing in the uk in the uk there are lawyers there are radical supporters they are making social media videos those radical lawyers in the uk and they are saying all illegal migrants who are here to stay they need to come to them so that their stay can be legalized do you know how this uh, scandal is working i told you uk will be turning into islamic state of uk soon so those people are from special religion you understand what i mean okay and they have this uh, group all the lawyers from that particular radical uh, radical uh, group they are inviting all the illegal migrants that you come to us and we will offer you the services so that your stay can be legalized so this radical group of lawyers wants these illegal terrorists to stay in your country legally because they know it's fulfilling their agenda their agenda is not you know legal or legal their agenda is to turn uk into islamic state <laughs> I'll, i'll talk about i'll talk about the america first and then i'll talk about the uk okay so next thing is uh, we have done with the sovereignty terrorism radicalization i think radicalization we have talked about it only uh, those people are radicalized uh, you know those are the things which keep happening in the uk you know people keep stabbing you uh, i guess yeah it's see 
the common thing in America is that in America, people are shooting. Da, 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 da. In UK, they're stabbing. Catch, 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 catch. That's the difference in the UK and the America only, okay? So you see all the mass shooting happening in America and, uh, you know, the, the mob is looting the Walmart, you know. Your stores in America, grocery stores, shopping stores are being looted by the mob and uh, they use the gun, okay? So the trend in America is that everybody uses the gun. Ta -da 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 -da. The trend in the UK is that they use the knife. They use a the knife, they stab you to till death. That is called radicalization, okay? And now let's talk about narrative and the agenda. Narrative. Narrative means your media is funded by this person. Which person? This person, George Soros. If you don't know George Soros, he is a financial terrorist. He is the most super rich guy on this planet you can think of, okay? He is the most super rich guy and he is dangerous and he is a financial terrorist. He can destroy many countries at will, except mine, okay? Even in, you know, this person is trying so hard, this guy is trying so hard so that he can change the government of my country uh, because there are there are there are elections in my country uh, next year for prime minister okay so we have elections every 5 years uh, next year 2024 is the election of uh, is the year of election and this guy wants to change the government in my country and i'm telling him fuck you you old g fuck you okay i'm we don't have we are not cowards citizens citizens like me of, of my country are awakened we know whom to choose we have been enslaved a lot you know few hundred years islamic radical jihadis have enslaved us after that britishers came and they enslaved us not anymore we got freedom in 2040s to be very honest when this new government came and now this new government is here to stay because you know why old G because of people like us we choose the government here not you you do not have control over India anymore and that is why even in my country until next year okay until next year there will be many riots happening there will be much violence happening in my country I know it I'm telling you right now so when you are going to watch any news about my country in the TV don't fucking believe it. In the Western media, you will only see negative things, negative news about India all the time. Every fucking single time, all the news will be negative, negative, negative. That is called narrative building. And this is called agenda set. You know, agenda set up by these uh, money giants, okay? So all these people who have huge money, the media everywhere, the media of every country is funded and uh, run on autopilot by him. And when I say media of every country, it includes the media of my country too. So this guy has control over the media of my country too. That is why, that is why I said to you earlier, do not believe on your media and do not even believe on my media. Don't watch news channels at all. If you want to get the proper news, find some people who are running some YouTube channels uh, in which they give you the news, okay? For example, you will have local voice, you know, local voice, they will have their own YouTube channel in which they will give you the, in which they will give you the ground report. It is better to find uh, somebody online whom you can trust rather than trusting your own media. That is the, that is why this is happening what is happening in your country right now okay so what else do we have you you remember uh, know this name george soros he is a financial terrorist he uses his money to take down the economy of any country recent example was sri lanka and before that we had examples of thailand and you can read more about him on the internet okay so let's see what we have here so we have covered all these things media boycott i have covered this already you need to boycott your media your media will never tell you the truth, okay? In the end, we have LGBT in schools and in your society. Rainbow. Don't we know about rainbow? 
I don't know the full form. I don't know the full form of LGBT as of now. I'll Google it later on. Okay. So LGBT in school. Well, I have seen parents complaining about the schools that the kids in the school are given a special class so that they can learn about LGBT. Wow. This is what you have done to your country. LGBT people, no problem what you do. You're lesbian, you're gay, whatever you are, keep it to yourself. Do it in your bedroom, nobody's stopping you. Don't force it on somebody else. Don't. If they like you, they will accept you. If they don't like you, please tell from them. Simple. So LGBT now is being taught in schools separately. There are classes of LGBT. And it's happening in America and the UK. Not in my country, in your country. And this is the future. <laughs> you know what? I don't know what. I, I, can, I can keep talking all night, but I think it's been one hour already, okay? So we have covered migration and all that, okay? Now, you can watch videos on the internet. You know, there are many videos on the internet, what's happening, what's not happening. The only appeal I have to people who are nationalist, okay? It will require a lot of work because the problem will not be solved in one day. And this problem, uh, in order to solve this problem, you will have to be a patriot and a nationalist. If you are not a nationalist, if you do not love your country, <coughs> unfortunately, it's, it's gone. It's out of your hands. So first thing which you need to ask yourself is that, are you a nationalist? If you're in America or the UK, wherever you are. And next thing is, you have to come in the streets. How do you start? Well, I think in America, you have elections maybe next year. I don't know. Maybe next year, maybe a year after. In America, understand guys, Republicans have to come in power at any cost. I am not funded by them. Nobody knows me in America. I don't know anybody in Republicans. I don't, I don't know anybody in Republicans, okay? But I am a human and my brain works and I can see what's coming. Democrats will and they have raped your country already. Democrats in America needs to go out of the power. I am not sure if this YouTube video will be on YouTube or not. Because whatever I have told you in this video, nobody is going to like it. And chances are that this video will be deleted or unlisted or made private by YouTube itself. Because YouTube is also, uh, you know, supports these bad people. So there's, there's no guarantee that my video, which I'm recording right now, will be uh, will be on YouTube. My uh, this video can be deleted for saying uh, for me telling you all this truth. Okay. So you have to make sure Republicans come in power. It's not about Trump or Biden. It's not about Trump versus Biden. You have to think broadly now. It's not about choosing a face. It's not about uh, you know Trump. I don't like Trump or I don't I, I like Biden. It's not about that. It's about who is going to fix your country or at least who is not going to do that more damage. And what I see from where I am, who is not going to do the more damage to your country, America, is Republicans only. Again, I have no affiliation with, with uh, this uh, Republicans. I'm not getting paid by them. But this is my common sense. What tells me, you have to choose them. Otherwise, you're gone. You're long gone, okay? And I can give you history of Biden uh, and then Obama along the... I think, yeah, let, let's give the history in this video only. Otherwise, I have to make a separate video. Uh, this uh, Biden, okay. Biden's son is Hunter Biden. And this Soros, this Soros son is, I don't know the name. But his son and Hunter Biden, they're friends with each other. And his son goes to White House whenever he wants. Hunter Biden, you know what? Hunter Biden's company was in the Ukraine. Hunter Biden's company is registered in the Ukraine 
and that company conducts biological research. So inside the Ukraine, Hunter Biden's company was creating biological weapons. Can you tell me why the war did not happen between Russia and Ukraine when Trump was in power? Why the war only happened when Biden came into power? Have you thought about that? Second question is, why ISIS came into existence when Obama was president? And why ISIS was at its peak when Obama was in the room? Have you thought about that? No, you haven't. That's why you're screwed. So when Democrats were in the power, when Obama was there, ISIS happened, Syria happened, beheading happened, slaughtering happened. And then Democrats came, illegal migration is happening, Russia, Ukraine is happening. If you are an Ukrainian person, let me politely tell you one thing, my friend. If you are from Ukraine or if you know somebody in Ukraine, ask them, ask them that is your border with Russia or is your border with America? Physically, it's with Russia, okay? Ask them one more thing. Do they, how many Ukrainians speak Russian and how many Ukrainians speak English? I would say 90% Ukrainians speaks Russian and 90% Ukrainians do not speak English. Then how in which, which, you know, in which whims and fantasies Ukrainians are that they are part of the Western countries now? Are you taking drugs, Ukrainians? That you are thinking that you are part of Europe and you are part of America now? You had been the part of Russia. Your father, your grandfather, your mother, your grandmother, they still speak Russian. And your borders will always remain with Russia. So instead of fighting with Russia, you could, you could come on good terms. War is not the solution. America has used Ukraine, still using it. Zelensky is a puppet of America and the price is being paid by the Ukrainian citizens. You don't have brain? I can't help you much. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I am feeling sleepy already. I have to wind up this video, okay? I have to cover one more topic. So yeah, Biden, Hunter Biden, these people brought war into this world. Democrats, these people brought COVID, okay? And uh, let's talk about a very important thing. Why ISIS happened when Barack Hussein Obama came into the existence? The name defines itself. Barack Hussein, 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 Obama. In America, you have the rule that a non-Christian cannot become the president. That is why Barack Hussein Obama had to convert to Christianity, otherwise he is not a Christian. Barack Hussein Hussein Obama had to convert to Christianity just so that he can become the president. Otherwise, he does not follow Christianity. He is a Muslim. And he created the ISIS. He funded the ISIS. ISIS was at its peak when Obama was in the power. Why do you think ISIS uh, was weakened after he went out of power? Common sense, use it. When Obama was in the White House, ISIS was at its very, very peak. When Obama left the office, Trump came in, ISIS was going down. Get a life. Again, I'm not sure if my video will stay on YouTube or not for public. There's too much I have told to public in this video. Wake up. Save your country. It's too late already, but save whatever you can. Otherwise, we all know what's happening on the streets of America. Looting, robbing, murders, rapes. Rapes are actually uh, common in the UK. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the UK. In the UK, they have no-go zones. You know what no-go zones mean? No-go zones mean you can't go there and drink a beer. You can't smoke cigarette there. But they can kidnap your girls and they can rape them for a number of days and months. 
do we not know we have grooming gangs in the UK from last 40 years? Do we not know millions of girls, minors, had been brutally gang raped and sent into prostitution in the UK? Huh? You know, talk to me? In deb- you know, debate with me? Do you know in the UK what decision the my lord gives? My lord, Supreme Court, judge, jury. In the ju- in the, in you know in the in the court of law, when a girl was raped by a special radical person, okay, the, the decision of the judge was that this guy, this guy had been taught in his religion that girls are nothing and they can do anything with the girls and women. So that is why he is free to go. This is the fucking official decision. This is the fucking official uh, statement of a judge in the UK. That judge freed a wick. The, that judge freed a culprit of rape. You know why? Because they said in their holy book, in their special religion, in their holy book, it is written that women and uh, girls are useless. They can be used and anything can be done with them. So because this, this guy, because he has been following his religion and he, he never was taught that you need to respect girls. So he did what he was taught. And that, that is why it's not his fault. And that rapist was set free in the UK. This is happening in the UK. A lot, lot of problems are inside my country, but not like this. No. If a judge will talk like this in here, then we will have to do something about it. Okay. And then I could talk all night, but I think my eyes are getting closed now. So let's wind this up. Let's do a recap here. I guess, uh, you know, this recap. Okay. Again, I don't know if this video will be live or not, or if they will take away my video. So two Americans, what happened is happened. Okay. What Americans don't like, what I don't like, what nobody likes is this indifference that somebody who enters into your country illegal, illegally without the visa by crossing the border, terrorists, those terrorists are given five star facilities and poor people of America and the UK are left like this, just like that. That's so tragic. You will have to come on the streets fight your own war by sitting on the couch, farting all day, nothing will happen. You remember one thing, guys, your government is against you. It's your own war. And it's not about you. Your life is gone anyway. If you're a parent, look after your kids and grandkids. Their future is very dark. If this thing continues, I'm sure, I'm sorry, your future is gone. Your future means the future of your kids is gone. Soon, Europe or the future Europe is going to be next Middle East. United Kingdom, Ireland will be turning into the Islamic Republic of the UK. You can't avoid that. Future is here. And end, it, and end is near. I think uh, I could talk a lot, but let's wind this up. If you have been watching the video till now, thanks. Cheers.